Major, thank you. 601 right now. For the 27th time in 40 years, the Kansas City, Missouri School District has to find a new superintendent. During last night's board meeting, Dr. John Covington announced his resignation. Sloan Heller is live at the school district headquarters with more. What is happening, Sloan? Good morning. Well, a lot is happening, Lindsay, and I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more throughout the day. But what we know is last night, uh, Dr. John Covington made his announcement, announced he will be resigning. The school board president, however, said he has not formally accepted that resignation. But talking to school district uh, officials and insiders, they're all telling us that Dr. John Covington has every intention to walk out this door behind me in 30 days' time. Now, again, we all know from the minute Covington joined this district just two years ago, he started making not only local but national headlines over his right-sizing plan. Of course, that plan was to close half the schools in Kansas City, Missouri. Now the headline shifts to his abrupt departure. District employees say there was definitely tension between Dr. John Covington and at least one board member. We're also hearing there was some sort of disagreement between Covington and the school board president over an eight $85 million contract. That contract was meant to upgrade the schools in the district and make them more energy efficient. We talked to parents about the news. As I've been mentioning all morning, no one really mincing words about this. A lot of people upset, angry, and basically just saying that they are completely taken off guard by this surprise announcement. Take a listen. Why? How soon? Why didn't you give anybody notice? Why didn't you talk to anybody? I mean, you can't just walk out on 11,000 kids. Now, just moments after Dr. Covington announced his resignation, yet another bomb was dropped. This coming from Arthur Benson. He is a longtime school board member, also saying that he will be leaving. And he said, essentially, if Dr. John Covington is out of here, so am I. We're live downtown this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News today. All right, thank you, Sloan. Well, school board member Arthur Benson released a statement after his resignation last night. He says, I feel largely responsible for having gotten him here, and I believe the short and near-term success of our school system is tied to his success. His resignation shocked and surprised me. He went on to say, my resignation is tied to Dr. Covington's. If he's gone, I'm gone. If he stays, I will stay. The mayor's office plans to meet with school board president Eric Leonard to discuss today the district's next step. Meanwhile, city councilman Jermaine Reed, a graduate of the district, spoke out about the resignation. There's a direct correlation between crime and violence in our neighborhoods as it relates to education. And we've got to make sure that we have consistent leadership at the top. Reed says he was shocked to hear about Dr. Covington's resignation and awaits the school board's next steps. Many of you are commenting on the resignation of Dr. Covington on our Facebook page. Jason says, so let me get this straight. He comes in, closes a bunch of schools, ruins the lives of many teachers and hundreds of students and families, then just walks away. Evans says, it's sad that we have a school board and city government that can't stop staring down at their own feet long enough to start moving in one direction. To come on, on, comment on this or any other story, go to Facebook.com slash NBC Action News. We also have much more on this story on our website, NBCActionNews.com.